I'm waiting for the question. <laughs> Who was that guy? What events did he win? 100, 200, 400 relay, long jump. Four events. For $100 in a second in any one of those events. Uh, Time is up, Barbie. <laughs> that. 
were sort of the, the precursors of the Ayatollah Khomeini. Because <laughs> they used to go out and bomb the school. Did, they, did, did uh, BYU ever get bombed? So what, a lot of threats. A lot of threats. So when I first got out of school, I said, well, uh, there was a cinch job, and I went over to San Jose State. I did a little security, and Daryl Dent, who had been a uh, uh, district runner for us, was driving by in this police car. I said, Daryl, you're in a police car. I didn't have a police car. He said, yeah, you ought to do it too because, look, at, you're out here freezing. You're freezing out here, and I'm in this police car making a great salary, get to drive around, don't do too much. I said, police work is for me. So I went down, took the test, became a policeman, and had the, the opportunity to guard my job was guarding a woman named Angela Davis. Did you ever hear Angela Davis? Angela Davis is now a very prominent professor at uh, UCLA. And the case, uh, the case involved sneaking in a weapon into a courtroom in which the judge and some other people were killed, but Angela was somehow implicated in that. The FBI tracked her down at the big trial in Santa Clara where, where I lived, and I got the duty of being across the street from the armory guarding her. saw the fire extinguisher. And the thing is, I had seen and heard about women who lifted cars because their baby's inside and all that stuff. I said, I will tear the air, I will tear the fire extinguisher out of the car. So I got in there, ripped it out, except it didn't budge. And there was a little flip, a little uh, <laughs> latch. I said, I'm going to use the latch. So I popped the switch, pulled out the fire extinguisher, and just sent a stream that just was, uh, uh, well, I don't know how to describe it, but you can imagine how I would describe it. So it was very ineffective. So there I am standing there as my police car uh, goes up in flames. So this was a very memorable time, and they uh, started a rule at the police department uh, shortly thereafter uh, with my name attached to it. And then later I went on and uh, went into the hotel business where I became a, uh, a training director in charge of I was told because of, uh, of differences that if you didn't take care of the Portuguese family or the Portuguese group first, that you'd be in big trouble. That if you went and taught English to the Spanish first, the Portuguese would be all upset and would boycott. So I had a little problem in diplomacy there. And uh, finally was able to work it out uh, because we researched it. Bottom line story was everybody's happy and now speaks English. And with that,